Though time has definitely flown by, it's almost time for us to say goodbye to this version of the Mercedes S-Class. Believe it or not, this car has been with us now since 2013, and over its life we've seen hybrids and Maybox, several AMG models, and it all culminates now into what is easily the most special version of this S-Class yet, the Mercedes AMG S65 Final Edition. This car, it's all about the details, and right now we're gonna walk you through some of our favorites. So the car's name is divided into three parts. Mercedes AMG, which means that it was obviously worked on by the company's performance branch, AMG. S65, which means that under the hood here is a hand-built twin turbocharged six liter V12 producing 621 horsepower and 738 pound-feet of torque. That's why you get this special V12 bi-turbo badge. And then finally, final edition, which means this is Mercedes' way of saying goodbye to the S-Class until a new model arrives, likely sometime next year. And it's not just the S-Class that's getting its own goodbye. This also marks the last time the big V12 will power an AMG Mercedes. We initially reported that the company was killing the engine altogether, but after some consideration, it seems like the engine will live on in future Maybach and even some Pagani models. Either way, it makes this S65 a very special one. The final edition consists of only 130 examples globally, and they each cost $256,000, the highest starting price of any new Mercedes model. So what on earth are you getting for all that money? Well, obviously the main attraction is the V12 under the hood, but to be fair, you can get that in the regular S65 as well. So the final edition has to look different from the S65, and it does. Up front and then all alongside of the car, you have this different color. It's like a, a bronze metallic looking color. Some people call it copper. All we know is it looks pretty good. Now it's the whole front fascia. And then as you follow me alongside of the car, it's the wheels. So these are the same wheels you get with the regular S65, but they're copper. They completely stand out. And I don't want to say they look aftermarket, but they certainly don't look factory. V12 badge we've already gone over. And then you have this huge piece of bronze that goes along side of the car and it really makes it pop especially in the light and then here is my absolute favorite touch i'm so convinced that this needs to be on every amg model going forward if you're listening let's please add that the Effalterbach crest plastered onto the c-pillar looks really really cool and then finally more of the bronze trim around the back and then you have these special black painted exhaust tips and that's just the outside of the car. Open the door and the final edition is even more of a standout. Look closely at the carbon fiber trim and you'll see that there's copper woven in, giving the whole piece a glimmering bronze finish. There's also bronze stitching along the seats and door panels matching the exterior trim pieces. And just in case you forgot how exclusive you are, Mercedes affixed two final edition logos to remind you. So the final edition has a baseline price of $256,000. That's obviously a ton of money. But this car is spec to the absolute max at $265,000. And there's $8,000 worth of options just for the back seat alone. Of those $8,000 worth of goodies, where do you start? Well, you have to start with a $1,950 executive rear seat package. Now what that does is it changes the S-Class from a five seat to a four seat configuration, but in place of where I guess you would put your kid, now you're getting a really legit back seat. So that means we have heated seats, cooled seats, massaging seats, and you even get these like nice pillowy headrests to go on top of the already nice headrest. It's a really nice place to sit. And in this center console, there's a lot actually. You get uh, headphones for each rear passenger that connects to the TVs. TVs are not touchscreens. You learn that the hard way and leave a couple fingerprints on them. Uh, but you do get these remotes, one for each rear passenger to control the TV. And it basically works with the command system uh, up in the front of the car. So you can change uh, your heated seat, ventilated seat, the massage settings, the ambient lighting in the back of the car, the input for the music. Basically, you're in control of the entire car, all with this remote. You get these tray tables. Of course, you can do a little work in the back seat of your S-Class. Maybe if you're daring, you can eat a meal. I haven't tried, not my car. Uh, I guess that depends on how good your chauffeur is and how well they're able to handle the engine. And then, probably the best party trick in the center console is another option. It's $1,100. I don't even know why I'm telling you how much it all costs because it doesn't really matter at this point. But there's a refrigerator. So the way it's shaped is it makes it look like it's meant to hold champagne bottles. But as I've learned, you can fit just about any good size water bottle in there and keep your drinks nice and cool on the way to your destination. 
If you don't want to use the refrigerator, there's also a heated and cooled rear seat cup holder. Now to go over this final option, which is the $4,950 Magic Sky Control System. I have enlisted the point of view cam, so I'm on the right hand side of the car. The passenger seat is pushed all the way up and I even have the leg extension pushed up a little bit. So I'm about as comfortable as I can be. I have my new chauffeur, which I just hired on site right now. Hi. Uh, and we've decided that on the way to my destination, well, there's just a little bit too much sun coming into the car. So how do we fix that? Well, we push this button up here, as he will now do. And what happens is the entire panoramic sunroof changes from bright to a nice tinted glass. Now, of course, you can take this and then move it back and cover the panoramic roof anyway. But this is sort of a nice happy medium. You still want to see some sunshine, but you don't want to get sunburned. The S65 Final is really more than just a special edition. It's a culmination of the very best that Mercedes has to offer at the moment. And although this car also signifies the end of the V12 powered AMG models, as well as the end of the current generation S-Class, the Final Edition is still one hell of a way to close this chapter.